Alright, in this video I'm going to be doing a review slash uh, uh, demonstration of a web app called Workflowy. It's a productivity app that allows you to create outlines. So basically it uh, helps you take notes and keep track of, uh, of information and knowledge that, uh, that you find important enough to um, keep in your notes. And um, so it's a very nice outline software, I think, because it's very uh, interactive. Um, it allows you to just, uh, you know, expand and collapse um, at will any of the nodes or, um, or uh, you might say, entries in your outline so that you can uh, focus right in on what you're going to be working on for the moment. Uh, and, or, or create a little note, um, you know. So you can you can do to-do lists. You can uh, you can keep track of some goals, uh, savings goals. Uh, you can keep track of uh, uh, the you know, whatever you're learning about in uh, biology in your high school class or in college. Um, if you're a uh, web developer or a programmer, uh, you can keep track of uh, whatever you. Uh, need to keep track of this way um, might be great for that. Uh, if you're uh, a writer, you can keep track of um, you know some of the ideas that are coming to your head and uh, for what you want to write about, and then right you know below uh, below that part of the hierarchy, you can start filling in more details, and then below those details, you can create you know what you might call uh, children of that node. And then, so you just keep on going deeper into this, into this hierarchical format, right? So you can um, very simply, like, let me show you. Okay, this is supposed to be a demonstration, so I'm just going to show you. Um, so let's say you are uh, learning in geography class. Uh, let's say you have um, school classes. Below that, you have geography, and then you also have, let's say, science, and then you have. Um, and so on. Just skip that for a second, right? But in geography, let's say you are learning about the languages of the world, right? Whoops. Um, languages of the world. So let's say you're learning about English, you're learning about French, you're learning about Spanish, Chinese, and Russian, and so on. So below these, let's say you're filling in a little more detail because you're learning about these languages. And you're learning more than just the names of them, right? You're learning a few more details. So English, um, maybe uh, predominantly spoken in the United States, it, but it's spoken in a lot of places. It's spoken in, um, in a lot of European countries, um, like England. Okay, um, or we should have uh, maybe made a um, Another note here, like uh, spoken countries, spoken. Uh, let's see, country, countries, countries where they speak this language. I, <laughs> I'm probably not like you know taking very good notes here, um, but you know it's hard because I'm trying to just you know pretend, right? Okay, so uh, let's say what are some other details about English? Um, you know, you might fill in like the, some particular quirks about the grammatical structure of a particular language. You know, I mean, we're just we're just kind of trying to think of some examples, right? But hopefully, you can see how uh, amazing this software can be. And anyway, you just easily just collapse or expand. As it says, all the children there, all of the nodes that are below this one. You you can just click on any one of them you want, and then it zooms in. You can go up here and go right back out um, to what I'm working on here. You can star this page, and that basically is going to make it pop up on that bottom row there, um, which causes it to be um, a page that you can just jump right right to it directly. So that's way cool. Um, there's an awesome search function um, which is featured on the top left there. Let's see, there's all kinds of keyboard shortcuts if you like to like to uh, interact that way. 
Um, yes, um, so you saw me you saw me creating this little example outline. And the way you, the way I was doing that was um, with a tab key on the keyboard. Um, so you just indent kind of into into the node like that. And so you can um, you can have your outline like that. And if you want to go back out, you use you use Shift plus Tab, and you can you can keep on going back out, tab back in. So um, you can um, you can mark different things as completed. Okay, let's say you have a to do list. And so let's say um you know you want to clean your gutters you want to, you want to uh, water your garden you want to um oh, let's see um you want to buy a gallon of milk okay let's say you got your garden watered great now you can just mark that as complete or if you just bump that, whoops, you know, unmark it. Uh, you can share any of um, the subsections in your outline, which is a really great feature as well. So um, you can share, you know, kind of a large section of your outline, and then below that, kind of work collaboratively with other people, um, and you know create this knowledge database of sorts. Um, you can export uh, all or part of uh, the outline into a few different formats. Uh, you can duplicate a, a node and I'll show an example of that. If you take your to-do list, hover over this and click duplicate, there you go, and it actually duplicates all the children of it too. Um, okay, so and we can delete them of course. Now and if that was a mistake, you can undo it. Um, now, to move around um, and kind of reorganize things, if you want to do that, you just can drag. And you can actually drag to a different kind of level of the hierarchy, like that. Or Control Z, we didn't want to do that. Um, okay. So. Those are most of the features. I am using the the free version, and I believe they give you 500 um, monthly new new monthly items that you can create um, for the free version. Um, hopefully, I'm right about that. Uh, but I, as you can see, I have more available space. And the way you do that is if you want to try to get more free space, you can uh, you know evangelize this app to your friends, and if they click on your link then you can get set up with more items per month and it'll give you 250 more items per month per person that you uh, kind of um, invite or whatever and if they sign up then you can get more items per month um, Workflow Pro uh, it has some extra features of course you can have unlimited lists per, per month that you create Back up to Dropbox, so you know you can have more security and peace of mind, and quick access to your data. Data, excuse me. Password protected collaboration. Offline editing is coming soon. They say, so that's cool. Theme and fonts, uh, and premium support. And the cost of that uh, would be four ninety nine per month, or forty nine dollars per year, which would be twenty percent off of that total price. So. Um, personally, I think that this is a great, so uh, great software, a great web app. Um, I mean, it just seems really useful. Um, now whether or not you're good at taking notes, now that's a whole nother subject. But I think that's one of those subjects, it, it just takes some practice. I mean, if you think about it, when Google and the other big search engines kind of came onto the, uh, scene, onto the internet, um, over a decade ago, uh, most of the most of us weren't very good at um, necessarily coming up with good uh, search terms, you know, keywords. But then we started to realize, you know, we can we can start to think in this keyword way, where we we uh, add a few keywords to this string, and then and then we search, and we can usually find what we're looking for. And so, 
I think it would be a similar learning curve to, to get good at taking notes. And um, yeah, a lot of people aren't very good at taking notes, and, and I... And I used to not be good at taking notes, but I think if you give it a little practice um, with something like this, you might actually find it really incredibly useful. And if uh, if you're scatterbrained like like I usually am, <laughs> then something like this, a system where you where you uh, keep good track of your notes, your ideas, your to do list, your uh, journal, maybe perhaps um, just various uh, different types of knowledge that you're researching, your your passions and interests and so on. Uh, if you keep good track of that stuff, then, uh, I mean, research has shown that if you write something down um, or type it in, of course, then you, you're going to have better, uh, you're going to have better memory of it. And so, and better recall. So, um, so that's a great, a great thing. And then, of course, you can actually go back to the notes themselves and, and be able to look up the information. So um, I find it very, very useful, um, and I think a lot of other people w will as well. And so I just want to make this YouTube video so that I can introduce people to some of the features of this, and uh, hopefully you can give it a shot, and hopefully it'll work for you. So uh, thanks for listening.